on my own, have my best Angels tell me secrets, I can tell not like the rest Wanna know, do you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah Living my dream, I'm down I'ma wash away my demons Look at negativity fleeting Look at me Previously on The Hustle Clean some of your space, your area Attention because look at what Jalen decides to do Hold on, no, sit it right here Cause we can like mix it up mm -hmm. No, it's not You gonna kill yourself on all damn season, baby you know, I really feel like there's a lot of people who watch me that feel like these are the hands that I'm dealt. I can't be like Lonnie. I can't be like Kevin Gates. I can't be like Wiz Khalifa. Why can't you? So I'm about to brush Jalen's teeth. Come here, let's brush your teeth. It's too light. <laughs> hey. So I'm also trying to get him to potty train, which we are about to be doing right now. Okay, so I don't know if this is necessarily healthy. I don't give a fuck because I don't know. I've been really wanting to fry bananas and I know you have to use the other bananas. I don't know what they're called. Leave a comment down below because you guys are smart as fuck AF. Um, but I, yeah, this is like a healthy snack for me. So this is what I want to do. So this is all you need. And so I'm about to like be very generous. I'm about to pour this shit in here. Let's move everything. Put you guys on a okay, little collagen packet again because it worked out pretty good last time. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Be very generous. I mean, you're frying the bananas, so. For me. I'll show you how much I put in there. I got you, girl. Don't worry. I'm gonna put it at like five because you I know you want to cut them sideways. been like setting them on this <laughs> because I don't know where else to put them so yeah Okay, so I have them in there and they're cooking. So I'm just going to wait. I wonder if I should put more oil, but I have it on like five, six, so. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
this is going to be like this is going to be such a good snack. So they're getting there slowly but surely. Yeah, so that's th this is how they should start looking pretty like they should start browning. And guys, when I tell you it smells so good in here. It smells like a banana but like the the like juicier sweeter part of the banana. Oh my god, it smells so good. Mm, it smells like a fair. It smells so good. So, I don't know. Let me see if you guys can see. I got bit by something. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's itching. It feels like a mosquito bite. I'm not seeing... Like, I've been bit by a brown recluse before. I'm not seeing anything. I think that was already there. But I wasn't expecting it to be like this big. Oh, and it's pretty fucking big. It's like a medium size. So, I'm nervous. But hell, this is the fucking hustle. This is the struggle. Welcome to my fucking life. Um, yeah, and I have my hair in these like little balls because um, apparently it creates like natural, just heatless waves. But it itches. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, ah, it's fine. I will update you guys later. I'm going to put like a um, band-aid over it for right now. Okay, so I need to... Okay, so I need to um, do my dishes. So you guys are going to watch me. This is the daily grind. It's boring. This is everyday life. You have to clean the fuck up. You have to stay on your shiznit when it comes to cleaning because the clean house calls for a clean mind okay and you guys know that you know if my mom taught me anything it's how to clean period so that's what we're doing today i also want to organize all of these drawers with what i bought from Publix. i told you guys about so i'm gonna just record it film it you guys can see it maybe it will motivate you to get up and organize okay this is why these videos are here to fucking push us Okay, so yeah, as we can see, it's a mess. It's very dirty. Um, so I'm just gonna show you before and after because I don't think I have enough space to like film everything. So th this is how this is looking. I also want to organize this because yikes. I also want to organize this because yikes. I'm ordering a new one of these, but yikes. I want to put, yeah, it's just, okay, these are not that bad as I thought, but yikes to the, so I'm sorry, but my son turned my lights off, I don't understand why he did that, but my little thing broke, um, yikes, so yeah, there's a lot, I want to like organize this whole situation, so yeah, that's what we're about to do, okay, so one down, and like, eight more to go so yeah everything's organized it's not perfect but you guys know i'm going shopping here very soon so i'm going to be getting everything aesthetically pleasing just to help me like i said maintenance i put in my maintenance order too for all the problems that i'm having like with my blinds because of Jalen and on top that's what had broke right there and then i don't even know like where this went but i guess it's like the logo for this so I'm get that fixed so I actually organized my bathroom as well. I don't know if I told you guys that or not. But um, yeah, everything was organized. And then I also did my brushes. Excuse the dirty brushes, but yeah. Okay, so good morning, guys. It's really early. It's like 8.48. I've been up since about 6.00. And um, as you guys can see, I made my coffee and I'm just drinking this, basically chugging it so I can just get my day started in this busy. All right, I got work that I got to do, um, but I wanted to tap in. Do you have any crazy relationship stories that you were in recently in the past, it doesn't matter. 
or even family ships or friendships or just workships, anything, any crazy situation that you had, you basically just tell me your story, you tell me what happened, and you basically ask me what what would I do in this situation so maybe I can help people in the future or help people who have been through what you have experienced. So yeah, leave me a comment. Um it would be easier for me if you leave me comments on the community board because we can talk on the community board now, which is really cool. So you can leave me comments there. I just made one post, so it should not be hard to find. You can leave me comments up under this video too. I'll try to sort things out, but yeah, so let's see what uh, this person said. Okay, so I'm going to read it. So she said... Um, and her name is, yeah, because I want to start, like, giving shout-outs. So, if you, basically, I need to, like, get it all out. So, basically, if you leave me the comment, I'm going to shout you out in my video. And I'm going to read your comment, and I'm going to basically tell you what I would do, okay? I'm going to give it my advice and et cetera. So, okay, I feel like she's bought readings from me before, but I feel like I'm going to totally, like, mispronounce her name, so forgive me. But it says, uh... Bianca, Bianca, I think it's Bianca, I think it is, okay, so Bianca Jackson, she said, so I've, so I've been a property manager for 12 years, and I have worked my way up from starting managing tour up projects in the hood in Florida to luxury high rise in Los Angeles, now that I'm here, I feel so burned out to enjoy it, being at work feels like torture like it's not for me anymore i feel like i've outgrown it girl i feel you <laughs> now i feel kind of unfulfilled and lost my passion and spark and things i'm only 31 years old what should i do i don't know what direction this is a really good i'm excited to give you advice because i really re like resonate with this um hold on i'm sorry what should i do i don't know what direction to turn to at this point i feel bored and downtrodden i want to find that spark for my life again my childhood dream was to be an actress but i kind of feel like it is too late for that i have a baby i'm heavy set now i don't look the same i feel like that's all lol i don't know what to do lonnie what would you do oh, i'm so excited i love this like thank you bianca for writing me because you're the only person who did so if you guys want to be featured in my videos, leave me a comment, all right? So wow. Okay, so first you started, you are a property manager. And you wanna know what's crazy is with my life, it's like my mom wanted me to go to college and she wanted me to be a cosmetologist and I dropped out. Um, I was not happy there uh i was doing that for my mom and it was kind of weird and this is gonna sound i don't know how this is i don't know the proper word or term for this but this might sound bad i don't know but it's like i had big dreams too and i'm like hold on i'm gonna be getting my nails and feet done by somebody i'm not about to be doing your feet and nails you feel me and that's really how i felt about it like i have no passion to do your nails like i want you to do mine though like seriously and it's crazy because you probably want to be living in them luxury houses that you are showing everybody but instead you're like on the sideline it's like you're like it's almost like you're really close to your dream but it manifests in a different way but what I'm telling you right now is what you're doing is not your purpose. It's not your passion. You should be literally getting toured around for luxury apartments. You feel me? Instead of touring other people, you should be the one that's about to buy that luxury nice apartment. You know what I'm saying? So do you see how that, cor that correlates to my situation? It's like, I'm not about to be doing your toes and nails. You're going to be doing mine, you know? So, and this is our world. This is our reality, all right? So... Whatever the fuck that you want, you can manifest that. So if you don't want to be doing people's toes and nails, you don't have to do that. If you want them to be doing yours, that's how it will be. If you don't want to be, um, you know, a property manager and showing luxury houses, you want to be the one buying them and buying and having the money to afford this luxurious lifestyle that you want. Let me tell you right now, I have a kid 
I know plenty of people who have kids. The kid, like me with, with my son, I wanted to give up more than a thousand times, a billion. I really did, because I was like, there's no way I can do this. You know, I felt trapped, I felt stuck, but I made, I'm making this shit happen. You know, it says make that shit happen and do not quit. So I will not give up on God. I will not give up on my faith. And I really encourage you not to give up on yours as well. Because right when you feel like you're at a crisis, right when you feel like you don't know what to do, right when you feel like the worst is over, I just got to download. Right when you feel like that, like I was reading a book and it said a lot of the times people, when they face, when they're facing a crisis, they feel like their, their life is over. That's when your life is getting ready to begin. That's when the unexpected is going to happen. Okay. I'm going to take my time answering this because I take this shit very seriously. Period. Um, you feel burnt out. Like I feel you. Like I literally, you know, was doing something that sometimes like literally you you have to look at things as stepping stones like i truly feel like i started my first channel to be to to understand how to start this channel and understand how to bless y'all with with this channel and bless and meet new people with this channel you know i don't feel like i'm meant to be doing tarot my entire life if that makes sense um so i kind of feel you when being burnt out and you just don't feel the same about it anymore you know but you're in la you know there's a lot of possibilities and opportunities in la it's all about how you are going to make the best out of it if you want to be an actress okay well if you're not getting if, if you're not booking any jobs or doing anything and you have to be a manager right now right because you're going to need that money to come in to live okay keep working at that job but do a side hustle start a youtube channel if you want to be an actress youtube a camera and just start acting on camera create your own show i created my own the hustle i'm acting right now or it seems like i'm being real but this is a tv show that i'm creating on youtube and it's called the hustle you know these are the hustle vlogs so yeah it's like just start posting your videos okay start taking action towards your dreams you can't sit there if you feel like you're too old you feel like you can't do it then you never will you never will okay you lost your passion for old things that you wanted to do because you probably had people around you discouraging you and you had negative feelings and thoughts and shit you you told yourself that you couldn't do it and you make excuses for why it's not going to work out oh i'm too this i'm overweight now i have a kid now i'm you know not living my dream job but literally look you're in la though you who like so many possibilities and chances i know that la is not like you know the number one place that everybody wants to live but i know and i've heard a lot of you don't know who the fuck you're gonna run into in la you gotta come on now come on now there's like if i was living there I would be on motherfucking YouTube grizzinding. Period. There's a lot of shit to do. Get on it. There's a there's a beautiful fucking world out here. Let me tell you, like it does not matter. And I do know that when you are at the age of 31, you are in this energy of you're you you haven't been on your true north. So it's kind of harder for you to kind of get on track. You know? Keep God first, pray, but take action towards what you still want to do. Make the best of it, all right? Because I'm telling you, if I was in your, this is what I would do. If I was in your situation, I would be working that, manage, that manager, the, uh, I would be a property manager, and I would wake up and I would look at it on how can I bless people today? How can I give back? How can I help people? How can I make them smile? And I would do that. And I would be positive and I would be optimistic. But I would still be hustling and grinding on doing what I truly love. My, my, my true north. My, my true calling. Oh my goodness. 
This is a message for Bianca Jackson. Listen to me. I need you. This is a perfect idea for you. This is exactly what I would do. And I feel like I just got pinged from the universes and the gods. Because I feel like th 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 this is going to work out for you, period. If you are giving tours of luxury apartments, my girl, get you a camera. It don't matter what type of fucking camera you got, but you want it to be, you know, good quality. You want it to be decent quality. Get you an iPhone or something. If you have a good, decent camera, take that and vlog. You, like, even though it's not your apartment, you can vlog them and you can be like, um, you can advertise them on YouTube in Los, you, you can put like LA, um, or Los Angeles high rise apartment and you can do like tours of it. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. There is so many people in Los Angeles who are moving to Los Angeles right now. There are so many fucking people. Who need a fucking apartment a nice one too in la start just vlogging it or like you can vlog your life even though you want to be an actress right vlog your life like be like um da uh, daily i had to make storage on my camera but just uh post like daily vlog as a luxurious apartment manager i don't know like something like that you see the vision because people like aesthetics. People like to see these apartments and housing. I'm telling you. If that's what you are doing and you're in fucking LA, be like, I'll be like daily vlog in LA as an apartment manager or whatever that you are, but like put the luxury, you gotta put the keywords. Come on now, I'm smart with this shit. I wish I was there to help you, shit. I would be far, I would be far with that shit, let me tell you. But yeah. I gave you amazing advice, bro. Like, I got ping from the universe. No cap. But I hope that this really helps you. Um, I don't want you to give up, give up on your dream, period. If you're bored, this means that you need to switch it up. You need to fucking change. All right? It's time for you to change your perception about a situation. Let me tell you something. If you see rain lightning or thunder before you see this or after that is a sign that there is still time to save a situation and turn it around in your favor god is not going to let you and that child starve god is not going to let you god let you write this message to me for me to give you this advice because god is not going to let my son starve when god knows that i am trying every day in faith by him and as long as you're doing that too, that child is going to be fine. And you are going to be fine. And I love you so much. I truly do, okay? So I hope that you see this message. And I am so fucking happy. Like, I really kind of want to put in the title, like, a message for Bianca Jackson. I kind of do. But I want to start putting you guys out there on the forefront. Like I said, what will Lonnie do? I like these. I like, like, like these. So leave me a comment down below, okay? I love you guys so much. This is a very long vlog. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.